Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius to serve the highest good of all involved for this month of September 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius. I'm seeing light blue energy for you. And I'm feeling like communication is the key here. Ooh, that didn't work. Let's try this again. <laughs> communication, communication, Aquarius. Yeah? You might be feeling very communicative. You might be writing, I'm hearing. Um, uh, maybe journalism, writing a book, um, writing a memoir, sharing stories. Um, you, it could e honestly, it could even be passing down family lineage, um, you know, communicating to grandchildren or younger generations about things that have that you know your family has been through, what your family represents, things like that. Aquarius, I just feel like there's gonna be there's a lot of communication happening this month for you, or some of you, whatever, however. It, However it goes, Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, one more shuffle for you, Aquarius, and then we're going to get into this. Uh-oh. I thought it fell. All right, let's cut the deck here and see what we've got. Okay, overall energy. We've got the Four of Swords here, all right? So um, rest. Um, this is, the Swords are about communication, so you could be in the process of um, developing a story, developing some sort of, uh, I want to say planning or mapping out some sort of book, uh, journalistic venture, something like that. I really see you as getting your, collecting your thoughts in order to share them in some way, potentially. Four of Swords. Okay, look at that. You've got the Five of Swords in reverse here. Okay. Uh, you've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. 
And you've got Temperance in reverse. All right, so. Oof. Um, there is definitely an energy of taking a break from some sort of battle having to do with uh, Earth sign or potentially you have Earth in your chart. Um, but it's a feminine energy with the Queen here, Queen of Pentacles. Um, so, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, potentially. It doesn't have to be an Earth sign, though. Uh, Swords is your energy here. There might have been, there might have been some serious fights happening. Or just battles. One-upmanship with the Five of Swords in reverse. Well, the Five of Swords, but it's in reverse here. So I feel like this is being released. I, um, but I'm also, I also feel like you're taking a break from some sort of battle here. With a Queen of uh, Pentacles energy. Um, and with Temperance here in reverse. Uh... I just, I'm kind of blank on that right now. Give me a second. I just feel like there's a lot happening here. There's a rebalance taking place. There's a need to rebalance things. And that's very much why you're in this Four of Swords energy. There's definitely a need to come into a greater balance with the self is what I'm hearing. Because the, an imbalance within the self is what... Um, was causing whatever conflict you've been experiencing. Temperance is also can be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be though. All right, for the first half of the month, upcoming, uh, I'm sorry, current energies for the first half of the month, we have, oh boy, transformation. Death in reverse. This is coming out for a lot of the signs lately this month. There are, there are a lot of transformations going on. But there could be a resistance to transformation here. Death in reverse is coupled with, okay, the Eight of Cups. So there is an energy of someone may have been resisting some sort of transformation and now either you, Aquarius, or the other person is deciding to walk away in search of greater value for their lives. It very much could have been... Because what I'm getting from this Queen of Pentacles energy here, she's not... She, she's reversed because she, it feels like she's done with the situation, whoever this is. And because there was resistance to a transformation, now someone is deciding to walk away. There was too much, there was too much fighting. And someone has decided to, yeah, someone has decided to release themselves from this argumentative energy. Um, and they're walking away. And as a result, whoever's being walked away from is in a timeout <laughs> with the Four of Swords. Okay, uh, you also could be dealing with a Scorpio or maybe another water sign because uh, death is Scorpio, but also you have the Eight of Cups here. That could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be though. Interesting. So what I'm, I'm trying to relate this to what I was getting in the beginning with this light blue energy and the communication I was talking about. I feel like the reason why this situation broke down is because of lack of communication or the communication was just super, super harsh, combative. Okay. Second set of, of, of current energies for the first half of the month. We've got, okay. Four of pentacles in reverse. Letting go. Someone's released something. Four of pentacles in reverse is coupled with, oh boy, the three of swords. Heartbreak. Someone's letting something go because of heartbreak. Could have been a third party energy. I'm still picking up a communication energy here. There are a lot of, I mean, with the swords, lack of communication is what I just heard. And that was heartbreaking for somebody because all they really needed was for someone to be honest, maybe truthful, communicate. I mean, you've got three, four, five of swords right here. Heartbreak ensued. Someone let go. And now someone's in a timeout because of combative energy. 
one-upmanship, shit starters. It could be you, Aquarius, or it could be someone else. It could be the person you're uh, attached to or connected with. Whoever is walking away, or I'm sorry, whoever the other person is, or no, it could be you. It could be you. Anyone, but I'm just picking up with this Queen of Pentacles energy. This was a very loving, caring, nurturing person. And I really feel like it took them a lot. Because it does. It takes a lot to turn the Queen of Pentacles upside down. She's very patient. So whoever this is was very, very patient with the other person. But at, the, but at some point, enough was enough. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to collect myself here. Uh, uh, current challenge for the first half of the month. We have ooh, Hermit in reverse. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody needs to go within. Or somebody needs to come out of this Hermit situation. Hermit in reverse is coupled with yeesh, the Hierophant in reverse. Could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm really seeing this challenge as the currently the current challenge right now is to go within and learn about yourself. <laughs> learn from your higher self. This is the the, the Hierophant in reverse can talk about learning. Whereas it, or, or uh, and conversely, an upright can talk about teaching. But what I'm hearing is you, whoever you are, you need to learn from yourself. From your self-deception, I guess. You need to go within and like find your inner light. You have to go within. And I really feel like this has been resisted. And, um, I mean, we could be talking about a dissolution of a, mar of a marriage here because the Hierophant does talk about marriage. And uh, with the de with death in reverse, somebody somebody was walking, is, is, is um, yeah, somebody has been resisting some sort of change. It's like with the current challenge here, it feels like they don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to face themselves. Okay. Upcoming energies for Aquarius for the first half of the month. Nine of Cups. But the Nine of Cups is upright. The Nine of Cups talks about wish fulfillment. So I feel like if you if you were to go in deep within and like figure some shit out, your wishes could be granted. You could come into some sort of wish fulfillment. You could understand how you can improve. But the Nine of Cups can also talk about overindulgence. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, gluttony. There it is. Nine of Cups is coupled with uh, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I am getting an energy of, wow, interesting, because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse can talk about no longer being single. Well, this is contradictory. Interesting. What I'm feeling here is that for someone... Or what, what's coming, what's going, what, what I'm picking up here is that somebody could be leaving, walk, leaving a certain relationship, but then finding another one that is actually more fulfilling after a period of being single, I guess. I mean, that's, I mean, this is only the first half of the month. That's pretty quick. However, however, you could be dealing like this, you, this breakup could have happened and you're dealing with these energies right now. And so upcoming, coming up soon, you could be, this is okay. So this is why the current challenge could absolutely be that someone needs to come out of this hermitage stage. Because I feel like the, um, in this hermit stage, you really got some major downloads from your higher self. You really learned about things, learned about yourself, and you're coming out of this stage of, you know, learning about yourself, being introspective. 
And now you you could be facing wish fulfillment in that you will no longer be single. Okay. So for the second half of the month, upcoming energies, first set of upcoming energies, we have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be some lust, desire, extreme passion. The devil is coupled with <laughs> the eight of swords. All right, so okay. So some of you might be meeting someone new um, and getting wrapped up in some lusty energy, very strong desire energy. But then you might be afraid of that because that could be connected to the previous thing that you just came out of. It also could be connected to what you've been learning, what you've been so introspective about. And so now that, <laughs> now that you come out of this hermit stage, you're like, oh my God, I'm back in this energy again. What the hell is, <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> and now, on the other hand, this could be an energy of feeling trapped. And I'm really picking this up for someone, who, whoever is kind of like in a, in a timeout. You're feeling trapped by your addictions or codependencies of some sort in the second half of the month. Well, that falls in line with what's going on here because should something have ended or if you are if you have been refusing to go within and figure things out, you absolutely could start to feel like you're trapped, like you can't get out of it. But the thing about it is the way out is going within. And yet for some reason, whoever I'm connecting with right now is refusing to go within. Maybe because there's a lot of stuff in there that you don't want to face, but the longer you don't want the longer you don't face it, the longer you're going to be in this mental prison with the eight of swords. The longer you don't face it, the longer this devil is going to have its control over you. You By you not going within and figuring things out for yourself from the inside out, from the inside out, you are actively giving your power over to this devil or to this codependent, addictive, destructive energy. Okay? Second set of current energies, or I'm sorry, second set of upcoming energies for the second half of the month we have the king of pentacles in reverse so here are those counterparts guys we have the queen of pentacles here in reverse now we have the king of pentacles here in reverse but the king of pentacles feels like that person that doesn't want to go within that's very much stuck in their ways egotistical i feel like and actually i'm getting an energy now of you're stuck in this because of financial reasons potentially I, I'm, I'm seeing that or I'm feeling that for someone or some people, you have some sort of business financial thing that you built up. And now you might be afraid of losing it should you go within. But let me tell you something. If that's the case, don't you think this financial reality was built up on false pretenses? Ooh. King of Pentacles in reverse is coupled with the moon. False pretenses. Look at what I, I literally was just saying that. It's all an illusion. Whatever someone has built as this king of pentacles, it's all illusionary. On the other hand, this king of pentacles in reverse, it's, could, this could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. This could be you, Aquarius. But this person is caught in fear surrounding their situation. And that's exactly what the devil and the Eight of Swords are saying. Fear. Feeling trapped. Feeling like there's no way out. But I'm also getting, I'm also really getting intuition here. If, you were, if you're dealing with someone that is the king of pentacles in reverse here, you have to follow. I'm being guided to tell you that you have to follow your intuition with this because things are not as they seem. So actually, it might not be as bad as you think. This person just may be very, very hurt, scared of their reality, of reality in general. 
Now also, for those of you that I was picking up the energy of you might be finding someone new and now you're in this lustful energy and you're feeling trapped because it's like, why the hell do I feel this energy again? You might be connecting with someone who is very much like a king of pentacles. So yes, it could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and they would be showing up reversed with the moon here because it's actually not what it seems. They may not be as bad as you think, or the situation may not be as bad as you think. The energies that you're, the, the feelings that you have, the whatever lustful desire, whatever feelings that you have, it might not be as bad as you think. Okay. Whew. Upcoming challenge for the second half of the month. You got, okay, the Knight of Cups in reverse. I'm feeling like wanting to extend an offer or also not extending an offer. Maybe because it might be too soon. I don't know. Knight of Cups in reverse is coupled with, okay, the Magician in reverse. I, when the Magician came out, I heard not recreating the same old, same old. But honestly, because this is falling underneath the Hermit and the Hierophant in reverse, I feel like this, your current challenge is the fact that you um, it would be allowing yourself to manifest something. Allowing yourself to manifest an offer. It is, I mean, this is, your, this is the challenge, upcoming challenge for the second half of the month. So I feel like there's an energy, there's a desire Ah, desire. Do you desire to have, to make an offer or to have an offer come in, but you're not allowing yourself to manifest it because of something that might've happened in the past? Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Potential outcome for the second half of the month. You got a three of cups upright. Okay. So maybe you do overcome this challenge. You could be connecting with soul family. You could be uh, connecting with, you know, friends, family, celebrating. Three of cups upright is coupled with the two of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Now, you could be giving too much energy to social settings that are throwing, leaving you out of balance. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. There's a social setting that could be leaving you imbalanced here. Or, now, conversely, on a more positive note, I'm picking up an energy of um, releasing your need to control something and just going with the flow and just enjoying yourself. Well, that's not so bad. It's not so bad at all, really. Very interesting, Aquarius. I'm really getting an energy for the, 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 with the three of cups and the two of pentacles in reverse. I'm really getting an energy of just like letting your hair down, going with the flow and just having fun, enjoying yourself, not, con not trying to control things so much. Like I literally feel an energy of just dropping the pentacles and letting, letting the chips fall where they do. So in doing that, you actually could right because your current your your challenge for the second half of the month is allowing yourself is it could be could be allowing yourself to manifest some sort of love offer and you would do that by releasing all the 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 need to control very interesting okay 
Great. So now let's get into the energy, uh, the uh, oracle guidance here from the unicorns for you, Aquarius. Spirit, please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius in terms of this reading for the month of September. Thank you so much, Spirit. Best message, please, Spirit, for Aquarius for the month of September. Best messages, please, Spirit. There we go. Healer. I believe that's more than one. Let me look. Yep, it's two. Okay, we've got healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. I'm also picking up energies of healing for you. Because there's a lot... There's a lot of healing that needs to be done here. That's for damn sure. And I do want to say that those of us that are like super, super, go through a lot of damage, damaging things in our lives, we tend to be healers because then we heal ourselves and we are able to heal, help heal others, okay? And the second message is trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly, okay? This is definitely connected to the energy of just releasing the control of everything and just 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 letting go and through that you're able to celebrate through that you're able to manifest what it is that you want but you have to be trusting and and if you're if you're holding on to too much of control that means you have to, i i would say to me that would say one of the first things i would think of is wow this person probably has some pretty heavy control issues or trust issues I mean, that's not, that's not a judgment call. I'm not, I'm not judging someone for that. I'm just saying that's the first thing I would think of. They have trouble trusting. And so they try and control everything. So they don't have to, they don't have to worry about being let down. But that stifles you. That stifles your energy. That stifles your creative ability. Yeah, it stifles your creative ability with the magician in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse. Okay? So you just have to trust. Yeah, some things are going to crumble, but hey, that is okay. All right? All right, Aquarius. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.